So hi everyone, this is Jastic here from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a guide for Woven Chapter 1, The Meadows. In this video I'm going to show you where you can find all of the collectibles, solve the level, uh, and get all of the achievements related to Chapter 1. Now there is a full spoiler warning in effect for this video, as I will show you bits of the story uh, and how to get to the, you know, to the end of the game. So without further ado, let's get this started. In a soft world of wool, once filled with life and joy, wanders a ragged and lonely soul. He has climbed across mountains as high as tall towers, in search of life, in search of colour, and mostly in search of <laughs> pretty flowers. Now when Stuffy sees something pretty, very little can keep him away. And not even steep cliffs or imminent danger can keep him at bay. Well, frankly, it's pretty amazing this creature is still around. Maybe what he should be looking for is a sense of direction while defying the principles of natural selection. And find some solid ground. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not the first time Stuffy falls. It's a big elephant, he can take it. Let's see what this wanderer has fallen into this time. Okay, so now you should be in control of Stuffy and the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're literally going to walk straight forward and you'll see a white path in the grass that you need to follow. Follow this all the way to the end and you'll eventually have a cutscene where it talks about mm. Stuffy being too scared well, to go into a cave. Very colourful Woolen Valley here. Although I must admit the knitting work is excellent. Hmm. If I know Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. Well, not in darkness anyway. Okay, so once we've established that Stuffy is afraid of the dark, you want to turn around and you want to start backtracking a little bit, but you don't want to go to the area where you came from. Take a right and you want to follow the pathway this way. And as you walk down, you'll see a sewing machine no, on the right with some smoke kind of coming up. You want to walk past this one, you can't use it yet, but you'll be able to use it in a bit, and it is one of the main mechanics of the game. Head down and you'll eventually have a cutscene with a blue bird sat on a piece of metal. Up ahead, an intricate little machine jutted from the ground, but Stuffy, of course, glanced over it for what also came into view was a pretty little bird, all colourful and blue. Yes, Stuffy. Go ahead, frolic, make some sound. That could make him come around. Okay, so once that cutscene's over, you're going to use your skills. So you need to push your right trigger in and you need to select the shout function from the menu. And what that will do is that will make Stuffy shout at the little bluebird and he will fly off and he will free somebody called Glitch who is your best bud for the rest of the now game. Glitch now Glitch will activate a lot of the mechanics that you need to use to progress forward uh, and he will follow you everywhere and make your life easier. Stretched out before him. Soft, woolen and frankly quite amazing. For as long as he knew he had been blind but now sees soft hands of wool, caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost? Loose limbs and half its ear torn. How did it come to look so worn? Glitch paused and thought, not knowing what to do. Was he a thing that helped? And a kind thing too? For now, maybe, circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now and be less at a loss. Now for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft, knitted hills, 
and neatly quilted rocks. Okay, so we're going to come across our first major mechanic that is common through every level in the game. So the sewing machine is a place where you can change the different parts of Stuffy to allow you to do certain activities. Now, once we actually get over to the um, sewing machine here, the B will be able to switch it on for you. So Glitch will switch it on. And it will open up a menu in which you can select the parts. At this current stage, we haven't unlocked any new stuffy parts to equip yet. Um, so it's primarily just a uh, session where the bee will repair stuffy back to normal. And found you would do so with delight. Now, why would that be? By this new appearance, Stuffy hooted with glee, thinking life was too short to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. Okay, so now that you're fixed up, we can actually get the first collectible of the game. And we're going to backtrack to the first area where you spawned in. So. Head back towards the cave, but take a right along the way, and you want to walk over to the trees that you see in front of you. Now, there is a woodpecker that is jumping between those trees, and Glitch comes with the ability to scan things that are around the area. So, mostly things like animals, um, patches of patterns that are on the floor, flowers clams, that kind of stuff, um, but I will show you where all of those are. So you'll have to wait until this um, woodpecker is on the other tree. So when it flies away over to the other tree, follow it across. You want to hold in the left trigger and you want to select from that menu on the right hand side the magnifying glass. Glitch will scan him and you want to unlock Tiffy, Tiffany. This is the first pattern collectible. Now, you have to make sure that that square appears on the screen for the collectible to count. Once you've done that, you want to backtrack to the cave. This is the second kind of collectible in the game. You have a little bit of a cutscene, but once you go inside, push the left trigger again and select the light option from the menu. And Glitch will light up the cave, allowing you to view some paintings on the wall, which counts as a collectible cave one of three for this level. In the darkness, Glitch's light gave the cave a reverent glow. Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Speaking of their safe life here, before the time of woe, where another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view, with arms like that of an insect, limp and still. It seemed to tug at Glitch's will. Now, why would it do that? He had no clue. Okay, so now you've progressed forward a little bit, you want to use something called the this Blueprint Machine. machine. So head over to it and use Glitch on the Blueprint Machine. You'll end up with a very Guitar Hero-esque style game. And you need to line up the pointers in place with the dots by clicking on the buttons on the right-hand side of the screen. Once you've hit enough of those yellow dots with the pointers, you will... Um, unlock a blueprint. The blueprints will then be used at the sewing machines to upgrade Stuffy and set up new functionality and allow him to do new and awesome things. And this is the blueprints are also related to the collectibles. So in the majority of the levels there are five blueprints uh, that you will need to find. So five of these blueprint machines in each level roughly. Why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here? Was there a connection with all these knitting machines near? Ah, a new shape could have other abilities. That was pretty neat. This new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Useful, I'm sure. Okay, now that you have that blueprint, you want to head down the slope and you want to head over to the gap in the right over here. As you come into this area, you will come across a flower. You want to make your way over to the flower and you're going to use your stomp and scan function. The game will show you how to do this. So you'll get a prompt from Glitch. You want to hold down the right trigger, select the stomp option. This will open the flower up and then you want to use the scan functionality of Glitch to collect another pattern.
Once you've done that, you want to head into the machine. And this is your first time to upgrade your parts. So once you're in, you want to use the knitter function and you want to click on the aardvark. And you want to select the right arm or the left arm. And you can change the arms that you've currently got to a different one. As you can see here on the screen, I've changed my left arm to the aardvark arm. And that allows me to actually push objects out of the way. So backtrack through the little gap you came through earlier. And you want to take a right around to a pushable block. Glitch didn't dare leave Stuffy behind. There was so much of this world he didn't yet know. He had just awoken without memory. If off he flew, where to would he go? Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. Who was better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend? Okay, so once you've had the little cutscene, push your right trigger, select the push option and this will roll the block over out of your way. Once you've done that you want to come through to the area and you want to hang a right and you'll come across something called a memory. So there's a little hole in the floor, you get a little cutscene that introduce you to it and you want to set glitch into the memory. There are five in total in this level. that led to glitch ending up here and being found. If you can piece together what they are trying to say that is. Glitch was engulfed by memories, images, and words, making no sense, but holding great worth. He remembered words without sound. He was falling to the ground. Something was lost, and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. A great danger was unleashed like an untamed beast. The hunt had begun, but when? The machine gave Glitch a glimpse into his lost memory. Although this world did not seem to be in jeopardy, he would need to find more memories to understand any of it. Okay, now that you've picked up the memory, head up the hill and you want to issue a falcon punch to the tree. So open your menu up, select it to the right and you want to push the tree over. Was impressed by Glitch. Once that's done, you can cross over the tree to the other side and on the other side you will find another flower that you can stomp and scan. Now it's worth noting here there is a point of no return, so if you haven't got any, uh, if you're missing collectibles in the area, you can't come back here. So once you scan this flower and you get on the pumpkin at the end, that's it, you can't come back, you have to restart the entire game. As Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin, the stream swept them on their way, deeper into the meadows and the hidden wonders that therein lay and the hidden and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him and made him stare like a fool. He wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should, but still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something so big be held trapped in the sky? He retreated deep into thought, pondering the how and the why. Stuffy just enjoyed the view, staring at all the different creatures and sights floating by. Not much pondering the how, not caring a whole lot about the why. He remembered having friends a long, long time ago. It felt right with Glitch at his side and to be taken in tow. Okay, now that you have enjoyed your wild ride on the pumpkin, start making your way at the path and you'll come across some frogs. You want to scan a frog and you will unlock Jade. The animals can be a little bit frustrating, make sure the square appears on the screen first of all to ensure that you've actually got the collectible. Head on up the path to the area, next area, so keep following the white line on the floor. Once you reach the top, take a right and then you want to take a left at the top and hang a left down to the next patch.
Hey, once you've picked up the croc patch or pattern, backtrack and then as opposed to going back down the hill, take a left and you want to go up to the top and you will find the blueprint number machine number two out of five for this level. This blueprint in particular doesn't unlock any oh, unique functionality, a just a new skin learn. for Stuffy. Yet, Glitch had to wonder who had put all this machinery here. Okay, now that you have that blueprint, we want to backtrack down the hill and we want to go past the path that you missed earlier potentially. So head all the way down, go down past the sewing machine, so keep following the white mark on the floor. Once you hit like a bit of a crossroad, you want to take a left this time. So head down the hill, follow that white line along the floor. As you come around, you'll notice that just beyond these trees there is a split in the path that goes between the rocks or going to the right takes you back to where you came in. Take the left and you're going to go past some sand but you don't want to go up the sand just yet. You want to push forward to the sunflower patch and inside that sunflower patch you will find another plant that you can stomp and scan. Once you have this one, you want to turn around and you want to make your way across to the sand that you've just passed a second ago. And you want to make your way all the way up to the hill. And you'll get a little cutscene with a woodpecker. Now you need to keep shouting at this woodpecker till it goes back to the rock that it's drilling originally. Uh, and this will cause the rock to fall over and open up access to the cave. Now it's worth noting it may take a couple of tries for you to actually get the woodpecker to go over because he will jump between the other trees. I just got lucky in this case and he went straight there the first time. Now once he's knocked that rock out of the way you'll be able to enter and on the right hand side as soon as you enter you will spot another memory for you to plug glitch into and that is I believe the second memory of this level so that's two out of five. Remembered explosions like a sounding horn. Something got ripped, something got torn. He had died on the spot and was birthed anew, but something had gotten greatly askew. The world was wrong, gone was the song. What song? What was wrong? Oh, it made no sense. <laughs> So once you're done with that collectible, you want to make your way out of the cave and dodge any invisible walls on the way. Once you make it to this block, give it a quick chop just to push it out of the way. Head out and you want to hang a left and as you're going down this tree on the left hand side that you can see here, there is a plant that is right in front of it. You want to stomp and scan that plant to get the next pattern. They must have travelled to some place new. Maybe leaving Stuffy behind. Oh what a thing to do. Once you have collected that pattern, make your way down the slopes to the grassy area and take a left at the bottom. Once you've done that, you will see that there is another slope that you can go up past the sewing machine. You want to walk past the sewing machine, you don't need to interact with it just yet. 
Once you get to the top of this hill, keep looking to your right and eventually you'll spot a patch that is sewn into the grey hill. Which looks like Burberry, but I believe they call it something else. You'll need to scan this one. And you're going to need to actually equip this skin. So they call it Grass Fashion. I'm pretty sure it's Burberry. But backtrack and you want to make your way over to the machine just here. And then you're going to want to actually equip the uh, the grassland fashion. So stand on the machine and go over to the patcher on this side. And you want to go into the other section and you want to pick grass fashion from this side, from the tile here. And you want to click on every square surrounding Staffy to make him look like the uh, ultimate something. You know, uh, anyway, he looks fantastic. Um, yeah. Okay, once you've got the skin equipped, you want to follow the path back past the patch you just scanned and you'll eventually bump into a large snake. Because you're wearing the same outfit as him, he will move out of your way and allowing you into the next field. And there will be a series of cutscenes here for you to enjoy. Fancy display. Seemed happy and lifted his tail out of the way. Right, let's go. They had to find a way up to the Red Mountain Range. Stuffy's current shape would give trouble, but that they could change. Rather, it was in his wandering attention that the challenge lay. Glitch gently reminded Stuffy not to stray. Surely there was no sense in cuddling the sheep, or playing chase with the bees, nor looking for other hidden adventures between the trees. They should follow the road forward and what was that? Glitch saw a metal spider. Fear tightened his wings. Memories of darkness stunned him with a vision of long metal limbs. For a moment, his head reeled with confusion. There was no spider there. Stuffy waited for him, unaware. It must have been an illusion. Okay, once the cutscenes are over, you want to kind of backtrack towards the snake a little bit because it's pushed you a bit further into the field than you needed to go. So come back to this area and you want to kind of hang a right up past the sewing machine and you want to follow the grey wall just here to the left and you'll find a patch that is in the floor, a purple patch which you will need to scan. Once you've done that we're going to head over and scan the sheep so turn it around and you'll see some checkered patches in the floor make your way across to the sheep. Now there are two types of sheep here that you need to scan, so as they keep moving away I am unable to scan them, so scan this sheep and then you want to scan the black sheep and I will not say the name of the colour of the black sheep for reasons. So once you've scanned all of those, and he stops moving out of my way, uh, you will have bagged yourself two more patterns. Once you've done that you want to head over to the left here and there's like a between the two trees and the button stuck in the ground and to your right there'll be a very large tr white tree. Um, head around to this side and you want to follow the stream upwards. Whilst you're going up this side of the stream you will eventually bump into a, uh, a wild boar which you will need to scan. Once you scan the wild boar, you want to head up the hill a little bit further and right at the very end behind these trees you will find blueprint machine number 3 of 5 I believe.
Hey, once we've done that, we want to head backwards, so head down the stream, and we'll kind of return back to where the, the sheep were. So head down the stream, and you want to take a left when you can and go past the trees. And if you see like a white fluffy tree, we're going to go past that one in a second. So hang a left as you go around the end of the stream. Stuffy ogled the apples hanging from the now tree. once you've gone past that one, you'll see a block just in the corner over here. Head over to the block, give it a polite nudge to get it out of the way. Once you've done that, turn around and you want to follow the rocks all the way around to the left. So hang a left and kind of keep following them down. Eventually you'll be able to take a sharp left, which will kind of take you into a bit of a foresty area. Uh, and that's where we want to be heading now. So follow the rocks down. Uh, and eventually you'll end up in that area. Okay, and you know when you're in the right place because you'll see a pond which is full of ducks. What you're going to need to do is stand by the edge of the pond and you want to walk up as far as you can. And it's going to take a little while, but once these ducks get to you, you can scan Mother Duck uh, and you will get the pattern called Holiday. Cozy here. And once you've done that, follow the edge of the lake around and you want to walk your way up the path over here. Once you're at the top of the path, you will eventually come into another block that you will need to push out of the way. Once you've moved your block, we want to go through and we want to go past the other one we pushed over earlier. And you want to make your way over to the white fluffy tree. Now you're going to be on a bit of a timer here. So head up to the tree and you want to stomp and this will cause an apple to fall in the water. And you're going to be a race against time because that hog wants your apple. So you need to move. So once you've done that, turn around and with the path that you have cleared by moving the blocks out of the way, you want to head down that way. So go past the first block. Go past the second block and you want to keep running down until you reach the pond where Mother Duck is. And the apple will be stuck on the log just kind of prior to that as you can see it's floating on the left. It hits this log eventually and you want to scan the apple to get the pattern apple red or red apple I think it is. Okay, so once Matey Boy is eating his apple, you want to turn around and you want to follow the path back again to so start making your way back into that main kind of grassland area. On the right hand side, you'll see a bunch of sheep in the distance kind of frolicking around. So you want to start making your way towards them and this kind of sun path, sunflower patch in the floor. Uh, and there's going to be actually a pathway down the cliff in front of you that will take you down to the river's edge. And by the river's edge, you will find a, another item that you can scan. So head around here. Head down, and I believe it's a plant this time around that you can scan, and it is at the very end of this outcrop. Now once you've bagged yourself that collectible, backtrack and we want to go up the hill. Oh, start making your way up. Oh, once you're at the top of the hill, me. you want to make your way over into this area that has been torn apart by beavers, savages. And you want to go past the 
sewing machine and you want to hang a left as you go around the sewing machine and you're going to walk across some rocks slightly awkwardly um, but this will take you through to the next memory. He remembered the song that sang for so long, singing to the life of any, there had been so many, and now all was gone. The song was broken, no words were spoken. Who had broken the song? What had been many? Hey, would you have the memory? You wanna head back into the area and we're gonna make some friends with the beavers. So you'll need to scan a beaver to get a skin and get stuck on aloe vera invisible walls. Make your way into the area where the trees have been cut down. You will spot a beaver or multiple beavers and they won't move. Just scan them uh, and this will pick up the nut outfit. Now there is Papa Beaver at the end here. Don't walk onto his grass but you want to stomp your foot to scare him away and he will jump into the river and he will allow you pass. Once you've done that, cross the log to the other side and you want to go past the squirrels and you'll find another flower that you can collect and scan. One river down and one more was due. Still, Glitch felt this world was in danger, even if that was hidden from view. And even more the stranger, he felt there was something he should do. Was his pull to the moon some sort of meaningful communication? Or no more than a firefly's fascination? Okay, so you now have obtained the pattern called Squirrel. Start making your way over to the sewing machine just here, but before you do that, just kind of squeeze really through the gaps in the trees. For some reason, I am absolutely incapable of doing this, but you want to head through the gap in the trees eventually. Make your way across to this patch in the floor, uh, and this patch is number 18 uh, out of 30, so scan this one. Once you've done that, you want to backtrack over to the sewing machine, uh, and this time around you want to actually equip the squirrel pattern that you've just found. So oh, finally you're going to get rid of the song. grass fashion or berberry as we call it in the UK. Uh, and yeah, switch over to squirrel. Okay, now that you're a convincing squirrel, you want to backtrack a little bit and you want to go over to the squirrels that you saw earlier, the ones making noise. Now, because you've got their pattern on, they will not hide away from you. Once you arrive over there, there is a empty rock where there is nobody stood on anything. Stand on this rock and you'll notice each of the squirrels are making their sound. And when it comes to your turn, so take it in turns as you can see, when it comes to your turn, you want to make your sound. And what will happen is they'll do a little dance uh, and they will give you a acorn which you can scan to pick up your next pattern. Okay, so we want to head back now past the flower that we just scanned earlier and we're going to grab cave number two. Now there are two pathways here, one that goes to the right, one that goes to the left. You want to take the left one first of all and you want to make your way all the way up to the top of the hill and at the top of the hill you'll find a cave. Once you go in, you want to light up glitch and you will get collectible two out of three in regards to caves. But honestly, 
doesn't he always? Yeah, so once you've bagged cave number two, you want to make your way down the path and you want to hang a left and you want to follow the wall around uh, to the right path this time and you want to make your way up that path. Now once you get to this field, you're going to come across the next scannable item and it's the last one in this section. So stomp your foot and you want to scan this one. You should be at 20 out of 30 for the patterns now. You are now at a point of no return. Once you have pushed the pumpkin into the water and made your way over to the pumpkin, you cannot come back into this area. If you've been following this video along, you should have all of the patterns and the memories and blueprints and caves so far. So once you've done that, make your way down to the pumpkin and we'll move into the final section of this level. To his surprise, Glitch saw their sudden joyride had Stuffy smiling, liking the view and enjoying the breeze. Where Glitch saw the danger of overturning, this gentle creature was at ease. Marvelous. Okay, once you've disembarked SS Pumpkin, take a left straight away and you will find your first scannable patch, which is Onyx, 21 out of 30. Once you've done that, you want to follow the path up and eventually you will run into some big hairy ball, uh, which will not move out of your way very easily. So head up, once you've had the cutscene, uh, we will be able to progress forward. What was this old rug doing here, blocking their way? No, Stuffy. It doesn't want to play. Okay, so this guy's not going to let you pass, so you need to backtrack a little bit and you want to take the path from the right. You want to keep walking forward, you eventually bump into his mate. And you want to scan this guy in front of you. So this takes a little while to scan because of his size. Uh, but this will be collectible number 22 in regards to patterns. Classic, and then you want to stomp your foot to actually scare the guy and it will make him and his friend swap places. Once they've done that, you want to actually follow him around and once he's stopped you want to stamp your foot again. This will move him out of the way and actually give you access to memory 4 of 5. Right after his birth, half asleep, blackness dark and deep, Carried away on wings of steel. Was it a dream or something real? By something with wings, a crash, the ground, silence for ages, unwritten pages until a bird sings. Then he was found. How long had he been asleep? Ok, 
Okay, once you've exited this section, you want to keep following the main path, and eventually you'll come to a river. Once you reach that river, you want to take a left, and you want to follow it to the end, and you will find another pattern that you can scan. left behind by Stuffy's kind. Was there something lost that Stuffy was trying to find? Okay, and once you have the pattern Kimberly, you want to backtrack, so go back where you just kind of came from, but you want to hang a left this time, and you want to make your way up into kind of a grassland area, and you want to keep walking straight forward until you reach a cliff where you will have a cutscene. Oh, I do not. They seem to have reached a new area filled with more of those large beasts and big trees. And what was that sound in the distance? As calming as a breeze. Before them was revealed an impressive view, an endless sea of blue. To their left, a rocky ridge blocked Stuffy's way. But if they couldn't cross together, together they would stay. Hmm, so how are we going to get Stuffy up there? Okay, and once your cutscene is over, just to your left as you can see in the camera, there is a flower to your left. So head over, you want to stomp your foot, and you want to scan this guy to get the next pattern for this level called iron. Once you've done that, you want to follow the cliff edge all the way down and eventually you'll come to a slope that leads you down. Stuffy, and you want to walk all the way down to the bottom until you reach the beach. Eyes. And then you will turn around at the bottom and you want to make your way all the way to the end of the beach to find cave well, three of three. Kept safe and unharmed. There was no reason to be alarmed. So, eyes are the window to the soul. Who would have thought... Okay, so once you get into the cave, hit the left trigger and you want to light up Glitch to display the paintings. Once you've done that, you will bag yourself the first achievement in the game, which is called Cave Pathfinder. This is for finding all of the caves with inside the level meadows. Once you've done that, you want to head back up to the top. And once you're back at the top, we're going to follow the way to the left. And we are going to get a another blueprint. Okay, so once you bump into these big guys again, now you don't actually need to do what I do, I kind of go a little bit the wrong way here, I do apologize. Go and stand behind this guy and you want to stomp your foot until he moves and you're going to need to do that a few times until you get into the next area. So copy the amount of times that I stomp because if you do it too many times you're going to end up rushing through. So only do it a few times until you can get into the next grass area. Once you can get into here, make your way over to the trees and right in the middle of the trees you will find another plant. Stomp and scan as always to get the next collectible. So this one is pool, this is 25 out of 30. And you're going to stand behind the big guy again and you want to stomp your foot one last time. Now you're going to be on a timer, you're going to need to run to where his friend was stood. So you're going to get your sprint on. So backtrack the way you came and you want to run around his friend will be kind of walking in your general direction probably when you get there. Go around the big guy, go behind him, and then you want to hang a right and you want to climb up to the top of the cliff. Once you're at the top of the cliff, you will now find blueprint number 4 out of 5. 
this blueprint will actually give you um, some legs that actually give you the ability to jump. So once you equip those legs, you lose the ability to stomp, but these legs will allow you to jump. So like before, use the Guitar Hero style minigame to hit enough of the yellow dots to unlock the blueprint. Blueprint number four out of five. And once you've done that, you want to backtrack down the hill, hang a left, and then you'll go back to the big guys. You want to stomp to scare them off, and then this time around you're going to go over to the sewing machine, and you're going to swap those legs over for something else. So once he's moved out of the way, make your way over to the sewing machine that is on the right hand side by the cliff edge. Once you're at the sewing machine, you want to select the deer option, so click on the deer and you want to click on the legs at the bottom and this will swap over Stuffy's legs for legs that allow him to leap into the sky, also makes him look like a bit of a ballerina, but he looks fantastic. So now we want to make our way kind of backwards a little bit and we want to make our way over to the original path where we used to come into this area. Instead of going quite down the path, we want to take a bit of a left just here and you want to see, you'll see this lake in front of you. You want to follow the edge of that lake around and you want to go to the other side of it and you get to try out your fancy new legs in a second. Glitch could be patient when he wanted to. There was no sense in hurry. Okay, so once you're in this area, make your way all the way to the back. You want to go up the hill just here. You will find another yellow patch at the top here, which you want to give a scan. So this is going to put you at 26 out of 30. You want to head back down and you want to stay by the edge of the water. And you'll spot like a little grey stone that is just in the middle here. Uh, which actually allows you to jump to that island in the centre. So where you see this little grey stone, stand on top of it, holding your left trigger and you will see a command to jump. Click, select that command and he will hop on over and you'll be able to scan the green patch that is on the floor. Once you've done that, you'll be able to hop back over to the other side and return over to the sewing machine to progress forward in the game. Now head back to the flower we scanned earlier, right next to it you'll see another one of those stones, you want to hop up. Now you follow this path up the hill, but you don't want to go all the way to the top, you want to stay on the right hand side, it will drop back down again. Uh, and you'll see this kind of large kind of conch shell, or it reminds me of something out of the Lord of the Rings, you know where Gimli blows into the pipe and everybody goes to war. You want to head over to this pipe thingy just here, and you'll see that there's a whale swimming down in front of you. Now when you shout into this pipe, it amplifies your voice, the whale will do some kind of this epic jump. Now that you need to actually time your shout so that the whale is directly in front of you. He will jump out of the water and he will cause some cliffs and rocks to fall down, establishing a bridge. Now I get it wrong here, it was a little bit too early. However, you can get it right, just do it on time. You know when you've done it right because you'll get this cutscene and you see the rock fall over. Once you've done that, head up to the top and you'll be able to cross over the rock bridge and make your way into the next part of the grasslands, um, to which you'll see a little cutscene where they talk about a cave in the distance.
an enormous black cave came into view, tunneling for miles into the mountain, taking them through. Okay, so once that cutscene is over and you're starting to make your way into the area, you'll see in the distance a sewing machine. Just keep hanging a right, you don't go directly to the sewing machine just yet, so stay on the right hand side. You want to go behind these trees, you'll find another patch in the floor. Scan this one. Once you've scanned it, backtrack a little bit and then make your way down to the sewing machine and switch your legs from the jumping legs to the stomping legs. So you'll need to select the aardvark and then click on the legs at the bottom and switch those over. Glitch didn't think all these machines belonged here, and he himself certainly did not. He couldn't stay in this wondrous valley that was clear, for it didn't contain the answers he sought. Now that you've done that, you can actually head back a little bit where you've got this big green patchy quilt hill. Make your way over to this one and on top of that actual hill you will find a, another stompable plant to get your next pattern. Head up to it, stomp and scan. Now I apologise about the cut here, I went and donned the wrong legs afterwards for some reason. But you need to keep your stomping legs on, don't do what I do, be smart. Once you've done that, backtrack past the sewing machine and you want to follow the path on the floor as far as you can. Uh, we'll make a little bit of a detour in a bit. Okay, so once you have reached this area full of boars and you kind of walk up this hill, you want to take a bit of a right actually. And you want to follow the pathway down to the end and you'll find a load of sleeping boars beside the blueprint machine. Stomp your foot to wake them up and then you want to shoo them off by shouting at them. Once you've done that, you'll be able to use the blueprint machine. This will get you blueprint number five out of five for the level. This one doesn't add any new particular functionality. It is just the final blueprint in this level. Okay, once you've got that blueprint, you want to go find probably the most hidden pattern in this level. Squeeze between the trees and you'll find it literally just behind the blueprint machine. This is pattern number 30 out of 30 for the first level and this will net you the achievement for collecting all the patterns in the meadows. Once you've done that, you want to backtrack a little bit and you want to continue along the main path. Glitch wanted to continue, but Stuffy hesitated. All Glitch wanted to do was go see the moon. Did they really have to leave here so soon? Sure, the moon was pretty, that part was clear. But why face dark tunnels when there was pretty a plenty right here? It was actually a good question. Stuffy disliked the dark and the moon was Glitch's obsession. Glitch was a thing that helped, and a kind thing too. So forcing Now when you come up onto the sewing machine, the first thing you want to do is you want to switch back to your fantastic jumping legs. So open it up, click on the deer, and then you want to select your feet from the bottom. And that will change those over. Exit the machine once you're done. 
and you want to turn to the to the left as you start walking towards these kind of striped hills in front of you you'll see there's a gap in between the two just here you want to actually head down that gap and you want to stick to the right there is a very well hidden slope that you cannot see at the bottom of this one you will find memory five of five and you'll bag yourself the achievement for finding all of the memories within chapter one Creatures had a rhyme, until the song stuttered, released into time. Stacks had been added to overflow, zeros and zeros and 404s. What was known was lost, and peace was the cost. If only he could remember things more clearly. Okay, having that now done, you should have bagged yourself the last achievement for this level, or trophy, if you're on PlayStation. Make your way to the top, and you want to take a left once you hit the top area, and hang a right, and you'll eventually come across these little grey stones in the floor. You want to jump up onto the different ledges, uh, and this is the path to get out of the level. So, hang a right, you want to hop up the ledge, and then you'll see another little grey stone on your left. Follow this path up, and this will allow you to get out of the level. I have been Drastic from the Achievement Squad. If you find this guide useful, make sure you drop us a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, such a lofty pattern. What a journey it had been getting here. And not just climbing this red wall. Soft hills, knitted forest. They had explored them all. Glitch had regained some of his memories, but he still felt like a stranger. This valley had been good to them, safe from danger. stared at Stuffy like a monster's maw, gaping and cavernous. Who knew what waited in there, all skulking and hazardous? Stuffy, you don't have to face your fear. Glitch will go and you'll remain here. But Stuffy wasn't up for that. He would be brave. Rocks and rivers hadn't separated them, so neither would this cave. Ha, ah, that's right. Don't let fear stop you, ever. Never. Well, Stuffy blinked and Glitch sighed, and eventually one went in, with the other as his guide.